Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome back to Queen Cup Tarot. I am just shuffling up right now, getting ready to do your October 2019 tarot readings. For those that are new, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And uh, for those that are returning, thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, positively engaging the channel the way you do, showing your genuine love and support. Um, it truly means everything to me. And it's a privilege and honor to read and connect with all of you. I mean it. All right. Ooh. Um, <laughs> for those that would like to book a personal reading with me, um, those deal details are below. That's fine. Just please keep in mind, I do not do pre-recordeds. Okay. All my readings are live either via Skype, WhatsApp, or regular phone. Um, half hour or an hour and you can record the session that's fine I will just not pre-record it and send it to you I do not need birth dates I am not an astrologer okay um, the reading is exactly like you see here on the tube okay so yeah um, for those that timestamp the reading prior to the prayer thank you I appreciate you guys um, please continue to do so prior to the prayer for those that are new. That's just a pet peeve of mine to acknowledge, to not acknowledge that this reading starts when the prayer does. Okay. Um, it's not long. And for those that say like, oh, but you know, for the people that aren't patient and then timestamp, like that's the point. I don't care about those people. Like I'm not enabling that. All right. Like, and I don't like deleting things and the other people in the angel gang will come at you for it. So listen. Time stamping's cool. Just do it prior to the prayer, long and short. Okay. Thank you. Um, all right, guys. And I'm pretty much ready to get in to your prayer and get into your spread. You've got a lot of cards flipping over and stuff. So um, I am getting the energies, Leo, that you guys are. Um, somebody's either ready to take a move on you or you're ready to take action towards someone. Um, and if it is somebody taking action to you, you're quite guarded. Why? Because you've earned a certain level of stability and independence that you feel this person for whatever reason might challenge, whether family, partnership, whatever, even career. Some of you work for yourselves and you have an employer reaching out and the money is good, but there's a part of you that doesn't want to give up the independence that you've gained from working dolo and being good with it. Um, but if you are act, if you are the, um, knight of wands king of wands energy that i've seen so far in the in the pre-shuffle and you're the one that's taking action this action is so divinely guided it's almost sick it's like the lion literally crunching down stalking sitting there and then boom and i love that because like that the amount of power that goes into an animal launching itself like that it's sheer like huge like sheer animalistic like just power anyway there's a lot of force going into what it is that you are launching yourself towards and i just think simply leo it's because you have never been so sure about something or you w will be so sure i don't know why that was so hard to say hmm. oh maybe that's why hesitancy, really wanting, Leo's really wanting to pounce on something, but not being able to because there's some thing block. This is a blockage. This heartbreak is a blockage, whether it's happened recently. Uh, I, I don't know the context of this, but this is blocking action. Action somebody is very, very sure about because the only thing that would stop the King of Wands from acting would be a blockage, an internal blockage like this, because it won't be an external one. <laughs> the King of Wands is like pre-emperor energy. There's this forge, conquer type attitude that these people have, um, you know, and, and that you have, but this could be exterior energy too. There is a blockage. This is the hesitation. But anyway... Let's go into prayer and get into it, okay? All right, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, thank you for rising me up out of my bed this morning and thank you for connecting me with the collective every day. Right now in particular, thank you for connecting me with the collective sign of Leo. 
please allow me to communicate clearly to them the messages that are in their greatest good surrounding their material abundance, sustenance, the relationships closest to them, their personal ascension and development, and any other messages that you deem worthy at this time. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, for everything you do for me in the collective. All the healing energy, the support, the love, the guidance, the protection, the miracles. <laughs> um, we are nothing without them and we are nothing without you. So thank you, Father God, and amen. All right. The beautiful Leos for October. Your overall energy, my beautiful Leos, for October, it's happening. I heard that song, it's been a long time coming, but I know, like, this is, like, happening. The Wheel of Fortune, really beautiful. Owls represent death. They can. This is the death of the old you. This is the karmic wheel. This is where you died, will die. And I'm just talking about what we talk about all the time, that ego, that version of you. You're standing at the top of a karmic cycle that you've completed, Leo. And there is a sense of wanting to take action to this new karmic cycle, but there's that maybe that blockage, meaning some heartbreak that still needs to be purged or a reality that is a bit distorted because of the heartbreak that you need to resolve so that you see this wheel very clearly and you can move forward with no um, hesitation, no um, unsurety or lack of surety or whatever. Anyways, your first card out there, it is again, the Nine of Pentacles. It's funny because I picked this deck for you because of that Lion card, the Strength card because it's very Leo. It's usually like a person and like holding the lion, but it's the lion holding this rose in its mouth. And I knew that card would come out and it did in the pre-shuffle and I'm glad because it really just shows that a lot of you have studied yourself. Okay, and I'm not just saying from a Leo perspective. I mean like individually you studied yourself and you unlocked abundance, the potential of abundance in yourself. This is very, um, maybe for the first time, for my single Leos, for the first time in a long time, you've been happy single. Like actually, not fake, fake, like actually like shit. Outside of this, this is also somebody realizing what it is they bring to the table, but being very starting, being very prideful, respectful, and protective over it. Like these feathers seem protective over these pentacles to me. Right? It's because you, you know your worth, you know how you show up, you know what people can gain from you, right? So you're, you're not codependent anymore, right? So there's this sense of protecting what's yours because you want to ensure an even exchange, Leo. This could have been exactly what you gain from this whole karmic cycle, independence, self-worth better self-perception, understanding, which enables you to just be better equipped, more reliable, stable, stronger to yourself, which then makes you want to do more shit because you're more confident on your own abilities, not the abilities of the people you have to retain and draw into you and hope they do shit, live shit out for you because you don't see those capabilities. That's not what I'm seeing. It's a full understanding of yourself before you're about to embark in a new cycle. Next card out, there it is again. I knew it would come out again. It's a block, because this is all like, why would be, what would be the purpose of the reading then? If, if like, what would be, it's like, okay, then go ahead. But this is stopping, Leo, there is a blockage. 
maybe Leo's there's something you're not ready to leave behind. It's almost like I'm ready to go into my new start, but you keep holding on to something or there's something you're not letting go. And it's almost like Leo, you have let every area of your life transform. <laughs> you have been self-aware. You have, you've avoided a specific area. It's exactly what you're holding on to. And what is the hold is it's that there is something that still invokes a feeling and that feeling makes it real still. So this heartbreak, whether past, like how far in the past it is, I don't know, it still invokes feeling in you, even though this is, these wounds are long gone, you know? It's like you touch it and you can still feel, you've healed, it's not an open wound, but when you touch it, it still hurts. So it's like, I think you might've avoided this anyways. Let's, let's keep going though and see where this is going, okay? All right, Leo's next card out. Yeah, you gotta, there's something you have to let go, Leo. It's almost like you have something by your teeth, but there's nothing else on it. It's like, it's like if a lion, imagine a lion went and hunted something, okay? Hunted, it caught its first antelope, all right? Eats the antelope and then starts dragging around the antelope's head because it's sentimentally connected to the first antelope kill it ever got. If that makes any sense, <laughs> it's like there is a sentimental attachment to something that is done. It's not an experience. You're, you're reliving something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep going. I think I need more cards to get the context. Fuck. Some of you past heartbreak is stopping you from moving forward to a connection that's already in your life. And you might be hiding under the cloak of I'm independent and I don't want to lose my independence and nobody could da 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 da. Meanwhile, this person isn't trying to do all that. They're trying to connect with you. And it's like, really, you think it's your independence and your fear of letting go of your independence. That's the problem, but it's not. It's the heartbreak you experienced from the relationships that you walked away from in the past that you haven't resolved because you've always just kind of flooded yourself into work, maybe. Maybe you never really grieved anything. If we get the five of cups, then you for sure haven't, but and you will, but it's like, for some of you, you haven't actually grieved the heartbreak of the past. You kind of just beelined past them and got your coin, made yourself more independent, all that good shit. And it was like, um, some of you, and I'm getting the impression some of you don't even, aren't even aware that there is a connection trying to be developed in front of your face that you are not allowing to you're, 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 you're um, confusing your independence and the fears associated of sharing that independence, not losing it, sharing it with heartbreaks from the past. You need to get clear about internally what stops you from moving forward, what you haven't grieved, what your perception is about sex, love, and relationship. Because if you didn't heal from these past wounds, your new idea of sex, love, and relationship doesn't include anybody. <laughs> You're perpetuating your singlehood, Leo, if you are not dealing with the heartbreak of the past, even if you have a potential partner in front of your face. If that makes any sense. Okay. Middle of the spread. The heartbreak is stopping you from going forward in wish fulfillment. For some of you, it's in your face. You know exactly what it is. And you maybe are looking at readings, trying to figure out what your blockage is from feeling comfortable. Some of you know you brought wish fulfillment into you and you don't understand why you're not comfortable with it. Well, it's because of this. It has nothing to do with that person. And a lot of you know that. It has to do with your own discomfort when it comes to intimacy and getting close to people, places, things, like not places, but getting close, co-creating. Again, it's not that you were lying about your independence means a lot to you, but there is fear 
like not just about sharing independence, about getting hurt again and almost saying, I'd rather be alone. And that worked then, but that's not working now because you can't get to the 10 of pentacles alone. Every individual can only get to the nine, in my opinion, as a reader. Or else God would have not, we would have been like the other animal. There's other species of animals that don't need to fuck other, like sex, ha there's no sex with another person in order, what is it called? Self-conception, I don't know. We were not created that way. So in my opinion, you have two nines here. You've gotten yourself very far, Leo, with regards to your independence and self-fulfillment and all of that. But this isn't the end of the road. Be the student again and allow yourself to learn how to take everything you learned as an independent person through your healing development coming into union with yourself, because this is what this looks like, Leo, allow you to come into union with the people that see this in you, your independent, independence, stability, loyalty, and it being a wish for them. They love themselves enough to know that they want to put the work in to be with somebody like you. But do you feel the same, Leo? Or does this heartbreak from what you've left behind still stop you from believing that your independence has any space. Some of you came from such toxic codependent relationships that when you gain this stability, there's almost an absolute terrifying fear. You think you have to relinquish something. You're not relinquishing anything when you come into union with your person. You are gaining. You only are relinquishing if you have to relinquish your independent self your identity, your independence, meaning the things you like to do, um, uh, the things about you that make you unique. You feel like you have to drop them in order to match someone. That is a problem. But it looks like, Leo, somebody wants to join with you because they reflect you. They see themselves in you. They're like, I'm stable. I'm loyal. I'm independent. That's what the fuck I'm looking for. I'm not trying to relinquish because this person isn't trying to relinquish what they've got either. I think they might just be a little bit more willing, Leo, maybe because they more time has passed or they've healed more. They're, they're just, this isn't as much of a block for them as it, is, as it is for you. Now, if the tables are turned and you're the pursuer of this, seeing this wish fulfillment because there's a reflection of your independence in someone, know that any hesitation that they have isn't a reflection of you, it's a reflection of them and the heartbreak that they still hold from past hurt. Whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> a part of me was like, finish my sentence, guys. <laughs> we know we're good like that. You can finish our, we can finish each other's sentences. Okay? All right. All right. Um, under the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Some of you need to remember why you walked away from certain things because all you're remembering is the pain of what it was you lost and didn't work out. But part of where this journey of independence and stability started was when you did walk away. Because the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups, you gained your own wish fulfillment, which was this independence and wanting to be known and recognized for that as an individual. So it's like... Remember why you walked away from certain things. Remember why or when you realized that things were hurting you and that they were no longer, you had to get away from them. Because this is part of, you need to remember that. Because I think you glazed over why and you became more consumed with the reality of how it felt. Let go of, remember, not let go, but remember why you did it. Because it was smart. And that's where you started your journey of independence, walking away from everything that didn't serve you. Now, if you are in a partnership and a relationship um, with two nines, though, I'm definitely speaking to a group of single Leos. But if you are already, ooh, ooh, I just, it, that looked like I threw that away on accident. But um, this two of, uh, 
this two of cups, if you are in a relationship, I'm burn my bum book out. No, I didn't. Um, if you are, um, burn my cup, my hair a couple of times on that shit. I did it on a live once. <laughs> Love you guys. All right. If you are in a relationship though, wait, there it is again. Yay. Strength. It's your energy. Four of cups. coming out in all of them and I use different decks and been using different decks for you guys is reading because I just haven't bought any new decks recently and the justice card keeps coming out in the different decks it's Libra season this is happening now this is Saturn going retrograde what what he was this Saturn going direct this is this justice is all about what the fuck Saturn was doing in reverse in the first place we're about to find out it's about to come out it's about justice is coming down from the heavens on all of us collectively for good or for bad and you shouldn't even care because divine like you want everything to balance out either way right um but anyways for those that are in relationships though for some of you you might have a partner expressed to you Some of you might have threatened your partner to leave, or you might have had a discussion about leaving your partner. A couple months ago, there was just, you were heartbroken by thinking that you're really, the only way to get over this feeling or what it was you were going through was to walk away from this and do this alone. That really impacted your partner. And quite frankly, I think, the justice coming in to Leo could be from, could be your pre-existing relationship, your partner expressing that one, they acknowledge why you felt like this. Because maybe when you express this, they attacked you for it and it became a problem and an argument and you're like, okay, it's like, do you not understand what I'm saying and feeling I'm hurting? Only for your partner to take some time and self-reflect and acknowledge that. Right? So acknowledge your feelings, but then what's cool, Leo, is the actual change in direction. Right? This justice change, this, 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 this is a change, a quick change, a, a, a change in direct, like tick, 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 like a pivot, like tick, 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 like a pivot. It's happening. I don't know. Sounding like I'm. I'm malfunctioning. Tick, 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 tick. Okay. <laughs> Let's go into clarification, though. Um, for those that are new, I do smoke pot. It's not the nature of this, okay? So feel free to smoke with me. If not, don't worry about it, all right? Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels, for this beautiful spread. Can I get clarification, please? Thank you for protecting this reading, Father God. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. So the ponder and the night. So the explorer, and this isn't the infinitum deck by Navina. I'll put it in the um, description below. But this is, these are the knights, all four knights in one card. And this knight is not taking action, being in reverse. Why? Because you are pondering. So a lot of you discussed with a partner a need to separate or a want to separate, but didn't actually separate. Some of you will. Some of you will. Others of you will not. Why? Because for a group of you, your partner will acknowledge why you said what you said. And instead of saying, I agree, let's move our separate ways, they say, I acknowledge this, I agree, but I want an opportunity to make it right i believe i'm strong enough okay but have enough of the grace to do it and then you decide whether or not you want to reject that offer or you really want to accept it all right um i am seeing the possibility of i don't know So 
So yeah, some of you, um, if you are single, though, it's going to be pondering. For some of you, you... Your lack of dealing with this actually pushed a partner that you were dating, that you were interested in, away. And they communicated to you that, look, you're hurting me. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do with you. <laughs> okay? Like, I don't know if I can conquer you or I don't know if I can bring this together or I don't know. And that gets you to really look at yourself and realize what is actually, because for some of you, I think you're, the reason why you're pondering is because you want this. You know it's wish fulfillment. You like this person. You really want to see where this could go. The problem is, is you aren't taking action to do that. And that's starting to come to light. Maybe this person directly brings it to light to say, listen, I don't think you're putting enough energy. Like I'm trying to do this with you and da da da, -da but you're like, you know, you act like you're you're just too busy or it's always work. It's like you don't really seem available. This person might say that to you and say that they're going to move on. For, some, for a small group of you, this person that you were putting on ice that you actually really wanted to date, it, who, date who was really trying now puts you on ice and you're heartbroken because they tell you to your face that they're going to start dating some again, other people again. Like they're, they're going to go back on the market and now you're pondering. Right? If that's the case, don't freak out because if this person is all of this, the, the they're willing to come off the market again in like five seconds. They're just not going to play your fucking games. Like, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, you're either down or not. Like, you know, that's the energy I'm getting um, for some. All right. Um, what else? I got to pee. I'm going to pause this to pee real quick. I'm smoking, I'm shuffling, I got a PM all over the place. A hot mess, a hot mess, but good reading overall, Leo. Justice on top of justice. And it's upright too. This is such collective energy. It's happening. All I keep hearing is it's happening. It's happening. That's exactly what I heard when I saw this too. And guess what's underneath? A fool happening. That's exactly what the zero point is. It's starting a brand new karmic cycle. You're going from the teacher of an old karmic cycle to the student of a new one. <laughs> you get that? You like that, eh? You like that. See the birds on the sticks? But one's a chick and one's full grown. This owl here is experienced because this karmic cycle is Basta, it's done, right? But now you're going to be the student again because you're going to have to leap off the branch of a brand new karmic cycle and see where that shit goes. Jesus, take the wheel, no? Jesus is big bro. Jesus is big bro. Okay. You died. It's letting yourself and this version of you die and be reborn. Right? Because the death card speaks of a death and a rebirth process. Right? And when I think of the death card, I think of truly, if you want to take it, death out away from people um, and use it in a different context, think of spring. Think of, think of like the weather in like a like in the north like here in canada right how we go from winter everything dies everything dies literally or so it seems only for everything to be reborn again in spring that happens every year this happens different phases of our lives you leo are at a stage where you get to be young at heart again, you get to be vulnerable again, you get to have a clean slate. But anything that you haven't purged out from this old cycle will stop you from being brave enough to leap forward in this. 
part of what makes children so brave is they haven't been rocked by life yet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like there's, there's nothing to be afraid of because they don't have any experience to make them afraid. All right? This is you coming out of your emotional body, meaning reliving these emotions and experiences over and over. And every time you relive them, they invoke those emotions in you again over and over. Coming out of your emotional body of doing that and making this information valuable information because that's all it is now. Whatever happened in the past is now just valuable information to move the fuck on with. Because that information is gonna make you all the wiser and all the more fucking slick and savvy when you are building something that's God-fearing and built to last, okay? Because you are equipped now. If you weren't then, you are equipped now. This God-forsaken cycle that you feel like you're such a victim of made you this. That's why I'm telling you, remember your Akashic records, okay? I'm just joking. Remember your Akashic records, okay? You agreed to go through this cycle because this is what you told God you wanted to reflect. I want to be this. I want to be stable, dependable, God-fearing, master manifester, able to unlock abundance inside of me on site like that. So then you said, and you're willing to do anything it takes to be, yeah. You didn't even let him finish. You're like, yeah. And he sat you down. But that's why you don't remember because you didn't let him finish. Because if you let him finish, he would have told you that this was going to be a very painful experience. Some of you, you did listen. Some of you, you didn't. But either way, it doesn't matter. You've gotten this far. You just need to enjoy this. See this in yourself. Remember this. And that's when you get this moment as the hour where you get to reflect over this cycle and say, yeah, I did that. I would have enjoyed you, you know? Anyways, um, let me see what else. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and guardian angels. Lastly, lastly, what's this eight of wands? What's this eight of wands and this justice coming? Because that's directly justice coming. Eight of wands and justice. It's the star, but it's in reverse. Because this is totally up to you. To receive, to see, to wish for. We're so desperate to see the star in everyone else. How about the star in you? Hmm? Your favorite celebrity that you admire so much and is so beautiful and so great. Why not see that star in yourself? Hmm? Huh? Why don't you do that? This was in reverse because this has to happen. That's the leap. This leap, of, this leap of faith is ultimate faith that this wish is attainable, that you deserve it, that it's real, that it's there. For some of you, this star is in front of your face. The reason why it's in reverse is because you haven't received it yet. And they, this, this wish fulfillment might slip away. You might feel it slip away and that be the realization that I can't let this slip away because ultimately this is what the karmic justice that God was trying to bring into me, but you were waiting for karmic justice to come at the hands of somebody else, right? Like expand your understanding of justice. Because we fuck it up. If we put it in our hands, oh, everyone's getting it. <laughs> it's not going to be good. It doesn't work good. Look at our fucking judicial system. Duh. Like this is divine law. Okay. All right allow the divine to bring you justice in, in the way it knows is best and is gonna be most fulfilling to you, okay? Um, before I wrap up, I'm gonna pee, so I'm gonna be back. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry, I had to go pee. All right. Oh, and at the bottom, the lovers. A decision, I knew it. This though, for a lot of my Leos, this is not a decision between two lovers. This is a decision of whether or not you want to either recommit with someone, either go about, if you're, this is a pre-existing relationship, this is a decision of whether or not you want to go your separate way or be with this person still, give it another shot, all right? Or 
If you are single, this is a decision of whether or not you want to take the leap of faith to actually commit. So maybe become exclusive with this person or really let this person in. Okay. So this decision in love is between you and another person, not two other people and yourself, if that makes any sense. Okay. Yeah. Illusions, fears about going through the new window. It's like, yeah, a lot of you are going to really be stressed about that. Some of you beg to come out of singlehood and then are actually very shocked at about how afraid you are of coming out of singlehood. Okay. Um, and you need not be. You'll work through all of that shit. We've talked about these in this, these videos many times for the singles. Okay. All right. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, guardian angels. Can we clarify this spread with the romance angel? Love you guys. Thank you. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know your comments. If this resonates, what resonates? Because they're very general, general messages, right? Um, I also would love to know how you feel justice has come in for you in any way, shape, or form. And that will just radiate acknowledgement and gratitude to the divine. Like you're acknowledging like, yes, this was justice. This was the divine bringing justice. It makes the vibration stronger. So... I'd love to hear it. The divine would too. Anyway, nothing but gratitude. All right. Chemistry. Love yourself first. Retreat. So it was chemistry. Love yourself first. The retreat. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Yourself. Respect makes you more romantically attractive. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah. For some of my, my Leos, your self-respect makes you more attractive. But there's a line, bef be there's a line between self-respect and demanding it and loving yourself and that being attractive to isolating yourself and being unapproachable and someone who's just too good, too independent to be with somebody. Like you need to show a willingness. It's sitting in, there's the balance between knowing your independence, but also appreciating the independence and how that could positively impact your life from someone else. And that if you can't, it's because you don't love yourself enough to know how you can positively impact somebody's life or you don't have the awareness or maybe you just never were in a relationship where you and your partner positively impacted each other. Sorry, I got so irritated. Like, I'm like, now, really? All right, anyways, I'm wrapping up with you guys soon, guys, so. Because that, like, totally, like, sides like the message. And anyway. Oh, for those, I keep forgetting, for those that supported my mom's run, she just came back from her run, yo. That shit was the hardest thing she's ever done in her life. She biked from New York to, from Toronto to New York. It took five days. She's really, like, extraterrestrial. I, I don't know why I don't inherit that from her. Like, I don't have that kind of drive. Like, I won't even bike to the store. Anyway. <laughs> Unrequited love. Shout out. Thank you guys for showing your support to my mom. I truly appreciate it. She must have, Angel Gang must have donated at least like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars in total of donations. So I appreciate you guys. My mother appreciates you guys. You guys are the hardest out. I love you, okay? Um, unrequited love. <laughs> okay. Um, and why this is a huge statement to you guys, Leo's. You push this independent shit too much, you will be the reason that somebody you really like who is a great potential match for you that you brought in, okay, sees you as unrequited and lacking enough chemistry for them to maintain the relationship as far as they're concerned. Be careful, okay? important for you to let go of this timeline or else all if you are it's like driving but with your head turned to the right you're gonna cause problems you're gonna have accidents 
because you're not looking where you're going. You're still looking. It's like rubbernecking. That's what it is with the accidents. I hate that shit. It's like, go. Like, you. anyway, I got to get on the road. I'm already anticipating the road rage. But anyways, um, so be mindful, okay? Some of you are considering going independent and leaving a relationship no matter how much it breaks your heart because of it can't get, you can't get past how unrequited it is and, 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 you know, you're ready to embark in a new beginning. And for some of you, um, for some of you, the karmic justice is finalizing a divorce. All right. Um, for those, for there's a small group of you. Okay. If that is the case, you might've had a relationship that you were cultivating and maintaining during the divorce process. For some people, it could be years. And it's almost like as this justice came in, this person was done. It's like they gave up right when there's a reason that that happened like that. It doesn't mean that you guys aren't supposed to be together. There's a reason it was like both of you were supposed to get that balance that karmic balance was to happen before you were really able to come together this karmic balance for you could be a divorce the karmic balance for, for them could be loving themselves enough to not wait and trust that you know you would follow or love them enough to when you did what you said come back or whatever the case is right so i do see that too and then we will wrap with the Aboriginal dream time. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and guardian angels for the spirit of the spread. My beautiful Leos, I love you guys. Rejuvenation. Oh, that's right. And what what I see is rejuvenation because. The eight, you got the eight of cups and then the nine of cups. And what's funny is I used a completely different deck for Aries and these two cards came out too. A lot of you guys are in the transitional space between what you've walked away from and the feelings and acclimating to that in between where you're going to and how excited you are about it. You are in the void. A lot of you are in the void. Sorry in the void. All right. Rejuvenation. Okay. All right. Once there lived furry mammals that lived in the river. I'm using the Aboriginal dream time by Mel Brown. Once there lived furry mammals that lived in the river, they were curious looking creatures who breathed air, swarm, breathed air, swarm, what? Swam, sorry, swam, swam. I can't read for shit, I don't, I don't, I'm an idiot. And what's fucked up is I've read this card before and I don't think I've ever read it right. Anyways, we're gonna try again. Once there lived furry mammals that lived in the river, they were curious looking creatures who breathed air, swam underwater, and even laid eggs when it was time to have their babies. The only thing that bothered the, fuck, it's this, the plat, platypus, I don't know how to pronounce that, I never did and I never will. I mean, I will at some point, I'll ask somebody. Um, sorry guys, um, was that when they swam, uh, their wet fur would drag them through the water, making it awkward to maneuver and to be graceful. All right. Once one, um, after one particular stressful day, uh, platypus rested on the bank of the river, exhausted from hunting and fishing. As he watched the fish, the fish gliding effortlessly in the water below, him, he came up with an idea. He hunted around on the ground until he came across a piece of strong oval shaped bark. The platypus held the oval shaped bark in his mouth and dived into the water. As he went under the water, he began to experiment with the bark, using it to help direct him through the water. Within minutes, he found what the bark enabled him to glide effortlessly through the water and that he could swim much faster than ever before.
From then, the platypus began to grow bills instead of mouth, moth, I don't, mouths. And that was how the duck billed platypus became an agile and graceful swimmer. There is a lot of words in this that I don't know. I'm sorry, that was very choppy. I don't know if you understand, but the simple form of this message is everything is absolutely wonderful. There is a childlike presence around you and you are finding yourself being more playful and fun to be around. This is not your usual self, but is certainly an aspect of your personality that you have neglected for far too long. Have fun with it and others around you will copy your playfulness and there will be some great times ahead over the next few weeks, all right? I love you guys. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, comment. I hope to see you guys on the mid-month lives that I do randomly. And um, But if not, until the next time I see you, please continue to let your inner angels live. Bye.